Now some other examples of where you can use the navigation lists might come in play with sales transactions. As you're working with sales transactions, you have the ability to uh, select a particular record, in this case, uh, for example, a back order, and uh, using the actions pane, you could transfer that and create the invoice or order that uh, might be required to continue processing this tr transaction. If you're working with fulfillment orders and uh, the workflow that accompanies them, you have the ability to select records, print picking tickets, confirm the pick, uh, print your packing tickets, and, and advance these uh, transactions through the fulfillment workflow. Uh, you can also manage process holds. You can apply particular process holds, such as a credit hold or a quality check. You can also use the uh, use these tools to remove holds and remove process holds. Now just like the quick find works in the customers, it also works the same way here. What's great about that is that as you're looking at all of the uh, sales transactions across all of your customers, uh, instead of having to type in these often long document numbers, you can really just type in the, uh, the, la the, the last digits that you know and the system will automatically find that order for you. Makes it much easier to locate records within the system. I'm going to go ahead and save this one so I can start to customize it. I'll just call it My Sales Order Transactions. I'll come in and uh, edit the columns that are available. Here where I'm working with sales transactions, I have a variety of additional information such as the customer PO number, where the, uh, the order is being shipped, who the salesperson is, and uh, the workflow status for this particular document. I'm going to go ahead and put the request and ship date on here as well. Say OK. So now I've got a navigation list that shows me quite a bit of additional information. I don't have any customer POs here in the system now, but of course since they're on the list, they, uh, they work within the quick find. Uh, so you can quickly locate documents based on your customer's purchase order numbers. And uh, as you can see, you can, you can really use this combination of the, of the quick find and the action pane to very quickly and easily work with these documents. Now we've talked a little bit about some of the actions you can perform and how you can modify. You also have the ability to create new documents directly from these navigation lists. And as we mentioned earlier, you can use the go-to's to export to Excel or to drill around through the system. You can also apply certain restrictions to these lists. For example, uh, only viewing transactions that have occurred within the last 90 days or with an other relative date ranges. You can also choose to show or exclude historic transactions. So for example, if I excluded historic transactions, I'd only be working with the records that are in process. Uh, so they haven't been invoiced, uh, these are in my order queue, and uh, I can just focus on the documents that need to be fulfilled. Another example where you can use the navigation list is within the inventory system to help you quickly locate items within the system. Uh, now here uh, we provide the quantity available so I could very quickly if I uh, save this as my items uh, add a filter here where quantity available is less than and includes zero. I've now got a good list of all my items. Now, well, let's see, let's not include zero. Less than minus one. There we go. 11 items, that's more like it, uh, that are uh, out of stock and need to be ordered. I can use this as then as the basis to create some purchase orders to replenish my inventory. Let me come in and uh, look at the columns we can add to our item navigation list. And we also have some user-defined fields we can add here. Go ahead and add these into the list. Now that we have these here, 
you can see all the data. We could do things like say, show me all the items that uh, relate to answering machines or to fax machines. Of course, I might want to remove my filter here. I thought we had more fax machines in the system. Should have more answering machines as well. Might want to find all the green items or uh, all of my phones or cords. So as you can see, just having the ability to do these quick finds really provides a lot of power, even within the inventory system, to quickly find uh, information that you're looking for. So that's the main, uh, those are the main topics I wanted to cover on the navigation lists. Uh, the final thing we'll look at is how you can take this navigation list and save it as a favorite. To do that, I'm going to go back to our sales area and take my Illinois customers with large balance list. And I'm going to just click on the name and choose to add it to the navigation pane as a shortcut. And I'm also going to add it to the home page. Once I've done that, I'll click the home page area. And you'll see that I have it here on my shortcuts area. And it's also now on my quick links. So in either place I click on it, it brings me right to this list where I can start working on these customers trying to collect the balance. So in this session, we've talked about how you can use the navigation lists in the course of your work within Great Plains. You can use them to quickly find information within the system, to drill around through the system, take actions on the records that you find. You can personalize these lists by adding columns and filters, and all of it, of course, is easily exportable to Excel. I hope this has helped answer some of your questions about how navigation lists work. If you have any other questions, we certainly invite you to contact us at support at longevity.com or you can call us at 720-870-9700 and then choose extension 2 for our service team. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope you will join us for our next session, which will be an introduction to reporting in Dynamics GP.